going on everybody welcome back to another daily video on that's just trading channel with angel make sure before you hop into the video to like comment and subscribe and let me know what y'all want me to do next today we're going to be going over some top stocks that i think have new levels to go to and new highs to hit so let's get into it What is up guys make sure to grab your popcorn before we get into these stocks because you're gonna need it. it's gonna feel like you're watching a movie now i'm just kidding make sure you like comment and subscribe and grab your popcorn if you want to while you watch the video but first off we're gonna be going into guys is tesla right and why do i go over tesla well yesterday i did a video over tesla and the reason i did it was because i said watch for this area of uh 800 to hold support and if it doesn't you can see this 790 area come to test and that might hold the support and then it might reclaim right but it ended up holding here at this 803 area and it ended up reversing overnight pre-market and then it hit uh it wanted to come test this a uh, pre-market high of yesterday at 870 right which is basically what it wanted to test today it hit 868 and now what it's doing was well, consolidating well why did i want to go over it because well check this out guys we're forming a little flag here if you can see right and why do I like flags so much? Because flags kind of give you a distinction of where the stock is going to go and where the, the stock is headed towards, right? So, I mean, you can draw this flag, right? But the main thing that I'm watching is the, is the downtrend line here. The, and uh, why am I watching this downtrend line break? Well, I'm watching this downtrend line break because I want to watch to see if this breaks. And if this does break, right, what, what can happen? If this does break, we can get a lot of more momentum towards this new high and possibly breaking and going towards that 900 on my one of my latest videos uh before i had described tesla and i said guys i wouldn't be surprised if this hits a thousand before i mean even maybe four to six months or the end of the year you know and th like i said a lot of talking about uh, another reverse stock split because i mean tesla is just crazy i mean look at our uh, daily chart here i mean you can just see it just exploded after the after his 70 dollars over here it just exploded and ripped so if you go to our four hour chart here, why am I looking for this downtrend break, right? Well, because if we watch this downtrend break and if it does break towards the upside, I mean, we can break, uh, if we can go test this 900 and then break through the 900, the next area of resistance is going to be the 1000. And of course, like I said, if this breaks the 900 guys, the 1000 is going to be hyped up by so many people that it might just hit it like that same day it breaks 900, right? Tess is crazy. He's had some crazy moves before. I mean, I'm not saying this is just my personal opinion. Like I said, this next hard resistance is going to be the 900 after we break that. I mean, we're headed to the races going to the, uh, to the 1000 area. But first, we want to see this downtrend line break. If it doesn't break, well, what can we see? We can go and see a retest towards this 804, this 800 area to hold support. And if that doesn't, then we can see the 760 from this uptrend line above, right? What's another stock that we're watching, guys, that I believe has more room towards highs and new levels? FUBU, right? It's a funny name, actually. I thought it was quite funny. But check this out, guys. If you didn't see this, right, you can draw your, your go to your four hour and draw your downtrend line. And ever since then, it's kind of been on a reversal. And this is what I like. You all know that I like this. I like the consolidation period. And if you can, you can just check this out, right? You go, you can go to your four hour. I mean, even your one hour chart, right? If you prefer that better, you go to your four hour, one hour. You can just kind of see where Fubu consolidated after it broke out of this downtrend line. And why do I like the consolidation so much? Because it has a defined move, right? I like I like consolidation periods because it's gonna either move up or move down. And knowing that it was coming from this twenty three area, I mean. The move down wouldn't have been, I would have said it wouldn't have been that much bigger in my opinion, maybe towards this 20 area than this 15 area. But I mean, we did break on this move up and today was the first day that it broke out of this down, this downtrend and the consolidation. And we've had a, we had a big move up, right? So I did play this personally. I learned it on my stock tweets and on my Twitter. If y'all aren't following that, go follow it right now. That stock, uh, I, that's just trading, right? But I played this break, right? And then we kind of drew this V here. Excuse uh, Let me remove that. But why did I play this, right? Well, like I said, I mean, the consolidation period, I knew as soon as it broke this trend line, guys, that it was going to have a move, uh, move up, right? What was our resistance that I was aiming for? Well, our resistance that I was aiming for right here was first, obviously, right? I was aiming for this uh, at, at this opening market, right? I was aiming for this 30, this 30, air, uh, 30, 31 area first. And then after that, my next resistance was this 32 uh 32 88 uh 33 area and why was i looking for this resistance because i mean you can see here your one hour you can go to your daily also right these are what held uh resistance last time that it couldn't break through so these are my hard resistances right and i took profits a little bit too early uh you know this is my personal uh uh my personal feedback right i took profits a little bit too early here thinking that it was gonna reject and i mean it just blew i mean you can see i still have my uh trend lines from this 35 and 36 up here before it even had to move up just in case right just in case i told myself if it breaks this 32 um this 32 33 area then i'm personally gonna um 
I was looking for that bigger move towards that 35 and 36 area. I had already drawn this up since pre-market, right? I was up. I was drawing my resistance, knowing to see where it would hit. And sure enough, guys, right? So we, what do we want to see next? If we want to see move, uh, FUBU move up higher, well, we want to see this now, these areas of uh, that were resistance now become support, right? Maybe if we can go test a new high, maybe we can go test 40, right? We can go test 40 tomorrow morning because if you look at, if you look at here at this four, uh, 3978, this 40 area, that's where we had resistance the last time. So maybe if we can go to this 40 tomorrow morning, then kind of reject and consolidate a little bit, and then maybe the next day rip, break through this 40, what's going to happen next? Well, we're going to want to test the next resistance line, which is where, right? First, we're going to want to test this 45 area, and then what's the next resistance? The main resistance I'm looking at is a $50 area, right? All the hype is going to start coming in if it breaks this $40 area because this is where we had that two times we couldn't break through, right? So this would be a third touch breakout if it does break out. And then we want to break through this 44, 45 area and then go towards 50. So that's what I'm watching on FUBU, guys. Remember, make sure that it does hold up support because if not, it could just be a, a run and then a dump maybe back towards this $30 area. But make sure you stay smart. It doesn't look like that's going to happen. Uh, like I said, maybe a rejection at 40, consolidate, then break through that 40 and go to that 45 would be uh, given like a beautiful play to me. I would be looking for that personally. But like I said, FUBU has a lot more potential to run towards these new... Uh, Towards these uh, 45 area, then 50 area. And then after that, I mean, who knows? We might go test the 63 area. Like I said, and no, I'm super excited. I mean, in a matter of two days, we ran from 40 to 63. So, I mean, it's possible. You know, FUBU, it, it can do it. So, I would keep that definitely going to watch this, guys. Another stock that we're going to be going over is NEO. Why am I watching NEO? Well, NEO is a hype stock right now because of the EV sector and because of the whole Tesla thing. And what am I watching on NEO? Well, if y'all couldn't tell... Right, this is my favorite place, right? I'm watching this. Oh, let me pull out my my other uh, thing really quick. If y'all can't tell, right? If y'all can't tell already, I love watching these uh these flag breakouts, right? Or even these downtrend line breaks. Why do I love it? Because it has a defined move, right? Especially if they're for a long period of days. And so here we've been consolidating for at least two days already, right? Nothing's really happened much. You know, opened at 64, rejected again. Now we came back here to 62. So I honestly think this is gonna break either to a uh, pre-market or tomorrow at the market open, right? We, I want, honestly want to say Neil wants to break above the 64 in my personal opinion, but like I said, the market does what it wants. You know, I can't define the market and tell it, hey, you're gonna do this. You know, you gotta play smart. You gotta understand that the market will humble you if you think it's gonna go one way and it just it'll flatten you out like that. You know, so be smart. Like I said, what am I watching? Well, I want to see a clear break through the 64. Maybe then after we break that 64, we can come down, uh, like have a healthy pullback, and then come retest the 66.99 area. So, you know, that's my personal play for uh, for Neo. Like I said, I mean, you could draw your uptrend line here, just in case it does break down. Uh, it does break downwards, right? Where can we see support? Well, we can see support first at this uh, $60 area because of the natural hold number. Then we're gonna see this 50 area. And if that doesn't hold, if the 58 area doesn't hold, like I said, we can come down and test where it bounced here last time at around this 56 area. And here's another area, look, at that 58 area where we're probably going to bounce more than likely if it does come down to test. But like I said, this is just my personal opinion on why I like NEO. Like I said, it's a lot of hype. I mean, I remember seeing NEO when it was a $2 stock, penny stock, you know, we used to play it. Uh, I didn't think this was going to happen, but I mean, look at it now, you know, it wants to go test 70. So never, uh, never underestimate a stock, right? And uh, I think that wraps it up for today, guys. I gave you all a few stocks that are on my personal watch list and why I like them, some key levels of resistance and support. And remember, if y'all like these videos, make sure to go comment down below, like and subscribe to the channel. Let me know what y'all want me to do next. And make sure to subscribe to my stock tweets and my That's Just Trading uh, and my Twitter account at That's Just Trading to follow for free option alerts. I hope to see y'all in the next video. Take care, guys.